Hey guys, you know what I need? A cup of coffee. Anybody? Here you go. Kyle had a Nadine cup from Larry's Country Diner, one of our favorite restaurants and one of our favorite people. Let's check in down at our restaurant and see what Marcy and Joey are cooking today. Y'all come on in. Sit wherever you want. Well, have we got a surprise for you today. This is our world famous cinnamon roll recipe that everybody has been calling in about, emailing yes. in, requesting, yes. saying, when are you going to share this recipe? Mm -hmm. Well, today's the day. Today's the day. I'm That's excited. Right. <laughs> I am too. So we're just going to dive in. Right. And we're not going to show you everything that we do, but we'll list, you know, the ingredients, of course, on the website you can yeah. go to and find. But what we've done is we've go ahead and we've made our dough up. So this is what our dough is looking like. It's it's risen beautifully. In here we have the flour and the yeast and the sugar and a little bit of salt. But the key ingredient here, which I didn't realize this until we started making these, mm -hmm. is the pudding. Yeah. We make our own pudding mm -hmm. that we put in here, which gives it that texture right. and that creaminess mm -hmm. that people go crazy yeah, that's over. That's the secret, is our homemade pudding. And then uh, in the homemade pudding, we add like a stick of butter too. So it's a process, but it's so worth it. And we, I'm telling you, we make so many pans of these. People love them. They're beautiful. So all you're gonna do here, once you get your dough out, and this is nice and fluffy, we let it rise for a good, gosh, hour at yeah. least. Um, you're gonna add a little bit of flour on top, and you're just gonna roll this out into a rectangular dish, or a rectangular size, mm -hmm. before we put it into our dish. Now, the filling is also another thing that's different. Well, from... the filling, like I said, is our homemade pudding. And uh, when I make the homemade pudding, I add a stick of butter to it, and then that goes right in with the dough. Mm -hmm. And then the filling here, that we're actually gonna lay in the middle of it and roll it up. This is two cups of butter, melted of course, and then are softened. It's softened, probably, right. Not melted mm -hmm. all the way. And then also two, um, two cups of brown, brown sugar. sugar and then three tablespoons of cinnamon. Yep. And so you're gonna take that and you're just gonna mix it really good until it looks like that. And it's still, it's gonna be a little bit stiff too. See how it's like that? And then you're gonna take that and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll it on there. It's gonna seem like it's gonna be, you know, a lot, but it's really not. But this is what is so nice about this recipe is there's times when I've made cinnamon rolls and sometimes they could be dry mm -hmm. and just not have that gooiness that we like. Right. And they're done, but they're just dry. Right. Whereas this, I think with the butter and the brown sugar, it just kind of all caramelizes in there. And of course your cinnamon. Right. When these things come out of the oven, I just want to eat them all. I know, I know it. <laughs> so once you get all that in there, you're gonna take your your long end, which we've kind of made into a circle now. <laughs> we'll just kind of make more into a rectangle again. Yeah. You're gonna take your long end here and roll it up. And these are nice and thick. You're gonna put these in your sprayed pan. Which I have right here, mm -hmm. nine by 13. And you're gonna let them rise again. Yep, you're gonna let them rise again. Look how thick those Isn't are. Isn't that beautiful? Those are gorgeous. Looks like French bread or something. I know. And then we just go ahead and we cut them a pretty good size little amount. You can get 12 rolls out of a batch. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And then you just set them in your pan, let them rise till they're double in size, another probably 40 minutes or so. Yep. And then you're gonna bake them in a 350 oven. But this. They look beautiful is what you're going to pull out of the oven. Isn't Look that gorgeous? Um, gorgeous? And of course, we've topped this with our cream cheese frosting that we top a lot of things with, yeah. and it is fantastic. Oh my gosh, them look so beautiful. Now, do you know if we have anybody to taste test these today? I don't know, do we? Well, ladies, um... <laughs> well, hey. hello there, how are you? Um, I'm doing well. Welcome it's... to Marcy Joe's. Yes. It's been four seasons, I figured that was enough time, and... Uh... <laughs> I needed to come down here and see what all the buzz was about. Well, you've picked a great day. Would yes. you like to try our cinnamon rolls? Would I? Yes. Yes, I would. Give it a try. Gosh, that thank you beautiful? very much. You did look out. I think you mm. might have known something about today being cinnamon roll I think roll so, day. too. I think so, too. <laughs> what do you think? The only thing sweeter 
is these two ladies right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. May I have the honors? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh. Absolutely. Please. Knock it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcy Joe's world famous homemade cinnamon rolls, where they're changing lives one, one bite, bite at a time. time.